You like that pumpkin spice candle because it's almost fall. I mean, we've waited all year for this. It's pumpkin season. You've got your cozy sweater, your hot drink, your mood lighting. It sounds perfect, right? Except those cozy vibes might come with a side of hormone disruption and cranky lungs. Not quite the autumn aesthetic you were going for. And the labels don't help non-toxic, natural, clean. It's all marketing BS and it leaves most people overwhelmed about what to trust. I'm Dr. Yvonne Burkhart, PhD toxicologist. And in today's video, I'll walk you through the science behind fall scents and give you safe swaps that actually smell amazing because pumpkin spice should smell like pie, not plastic. Fall candles are supposed to be comforting, right? Cozy, festive, and relaxing. But here's the twist the same exact thing that makes your home smell like freshly baked pumpkin pie can also pollute the air that you and your kids are breathing. So picture this, mom lights a candle to unwind after putting her kids down for bedtime. Pretty harmless, right? Except that wick is pumping out invisible pollutants into her baby's nursery. Most fall candles release VOCs, that's volatile organic compounds, and some are known carcinogens. We're talking about phthalates, formaldehyde, and even polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons or PAHs. They're basically the same chemicals that you're finding in diesel fumes and secondhand cigarette smoke. So once that wick burns out, it's not just scent that's left behind in your air. There are airborne particles that hang around long after you blow the candle out. You don't see them, you don't smell them, but every time you light up a candle, it's adding to the buildup in your home. And what about that cozy glow? Unfortunately, it comes with a side of pollution. And it's not just about steering clear of a couple bad brands. You know the ones I'm talking about, the ones in the malls, the big name brands. The problem is some of the worst ingredients are everywhere and you'll see them in pretty much every single candle aisle. Take that candle labeled clean cotton with natural fragrance. It sounds perfectly safe, right? Except paraffin wax, the base of pretty much all candles, is a petroleum byproduct. And when it burns, it's releasing toxic soot and smoke into the air you breathe. So whenever you blow out a candle and you see that black smoke, that's the soot that I'm talking about. But what about those labels that say fragrance or parfum? Those are legal hiding spots for dozens if not hundreds of unlisted chemicals including hormone disruptors like phthalates and cancer-linked byproducts like benzo-A-pyrene. True story, studies published from the lab where I did my PhD showed that benzo-A-pyrene destroys eggs in the ovaries, which can even affect your great-granddaughter who was never exposed. That's called transgenerational toxicity, and that's what's happening with chemicals like benzo-A-pyrene that you can find in candles. I totally get it. I was absolutely hooked on pumpkin pie, apple pie, and even sugar cookie scented candles for a long time. They had a stronghold on me. I waited for them to come out every year, every season, and I couldn't wait. I was on it like clockwork. Sometimes I would light two or three in my home at once so I could fill my entire home with that scent or aroma, not having any idea the havoc that it was wreaking on my health and not coincidentally, the peak time that I was using them was also when I was at my worst health-wise. So I'm sharing this with you from firsthand experience as someone who used to be hooked on candles. You don't need these and there are better options. So even brands that market themselves as natural or clean, they're often using the same vague and unregulated terms which are very misleading. And they can mean synthetic ingredients, undisclosed blends, or you guessed it, paraffin wax. Even soy blend candles can be a majority of paraffin wax with a little bit of soy mixed in because no one is checking on these. So what should you look for? True transparency. Look for a candle labeled coconut wax with essential oils or beeswax with essential oils with a full ingredients list you can actually read. This is a much better sign than some of the other candles out there, pretty much all the other candles out there that don't tell you what's inside it at all. So you might be thinking, well, it's just a little candle. How bad could it be? But for kids, the risk hits differently. Imagine a toddler, a baby crawling around on the carpet, 
with their breathing zone, their face close to where the heavier pollutants settle on the floor. And then there's a candle flickering nearby, that cozy scent that could be masking a much bigger problem. Children's lungs, brains, and hormones are still developing, which makes them by far more sensitive to toxins than adults. Early exposure to phthalates, for example, has been linked to asthma, eczema, and even behavioral disorders. And it really doesn't take much. Passive exposure at home, daycare, at school, or in a relative's home. These are adding up with toxins that are crossing into the bloodstream long before symptoms ever show up. So if you think you're safer because you've swapped candles for wax melts, unfortunately, not so much. Picture a wax warmer plugged in all day in the living room, basically quietly spewing these compounds into the air while your kids are playing, eating, and napping just a few feet away. It seems harmless, but that's exactly what makes it so deceptive. When wax melts heat up, they're releasing terpenes. These are the same aromatic compounds that are found in essential oils. When you're indoors though, terpenes can react with ozone and create ultrafine particles that are small enough to slip deep into your lungs. And it was shown in several studies. And from there, they cross into your bloodstream, circulate throughout your body and get lodged in organs like your liver or your brain. This is a route of exposure we usually associate with city smog or gas stove pollution, but it's happening right in your living room if you're using conventional wax melts. But maybe you've ditched candles altogether and you've gone for sprays and plugins instead. There's a catch. They're not any better. A plug-in diffuser humming in a child's bedroom might look harmless and even comforting, but it's a constant source of synthetic fragrance chemicals in one of the most sensitive spaces in your home. Most air fresheners don't disclose their ingredients. Synthetic scents can often contain endocrine disruptors and allergens and sprays cling to fabrics and surfaces and in the air for hours. And you're layering on more and more of these chemicals with every spray. So instead of freshening the air, you're actually polluting the air and you're adding to your home's toxic load. Okay, so what if you want that cozy glow during bedtime stories without compromising your kid's health? Well, we use a Himalayan salt lamp. It has a very similar glow to that of a candle and there are no emissions whatsoever. And it's actually really relaxing when you have that on because it kind of glows a little bit red, kind of orangey color, and it's very soothing and it really helps calm everyone down before bed. If you really want to light a candle, again, look for beeswax, coconut wax, made with pure essential oils, no undisclosed fragrance, and a full transparent ingredient list. These candles burn cleaner, they produce minimal soot, and are less likely to trigger allergies or asthma, especially if you're going unscented. A few brands to check out are Natural Sloth and Fontana Candle Company. They're upfront about their ingredients and they don't have toxic fillers. And bonus, Fontana also makes wax melts if that's your thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the links and discount codes in the description below so you can check them out. So if you want that cozy fall smell without spending a fortune on fancy candles and you don't want the smoke, the soot or emissions, a few simple kitchen staples will do the trick. So I'm not about the complicated DIYs. This one is super simple and it smells amazing. So just get some cinnamon sticks, cloves and orange peels on the stove or a crock pot, or you can make a simple spray with essential oils and water. But my favorite one, honestly, is to make a batch of homemade apple cider. Not only is it easy, effective, your kids can even help make it, but you can drink it, which is the best. But scented products are not the only culprits. There are seasonal decor items that can sneak toxins into your home. What about those sparkly garlands and plastic pumpkins from the dollar store? Unfortunately, they're usually made of PVC, they're covered in glitter and they can off gas phthalates and flame retardants for weeks. And they usually smell terrible like plastic. Even potpourri can release synthetic scents that can irritate your lungs. So for the same cozy look without the side of chemicals, I would go for dried citrus, pieces of wood, glass, or thrifted materials instead. I've actually seen people making some really, really cute garlands that are made out of herbs, dried slices of oranges. It looks so cute, so fall, very festive. And I'm definitely gonna do that this year with my kids. So of course, I've given you bad news, but I've also given you good news, right? You don't have to give up the cozy, festive feeling 
of the fall season to protect your family. Because once you know what to look for and what to avoid, you can make smarter swaps that actually support your kids' health. Remember that creating a home, a safer home, is not about perfection. It's about being informed, intentional, and empowered. Now that you've seen the truth behind these fall scents, let's zoom out. What if the gentle shampoo, the soft pajama set, or the BPA-free bottle that you trust is also disrupting your child's hormones or brain development. In my next video, I'll walk you through the most common baby products with red flag ingredients and show you exactly what to swap them with so you can protect your little one without second guessing every label. And if you found value in this video, hit like and subscribe and meet me on the next one.